We have a treasure here. These are our wild islands off the coast of Maine. They are here not only for our seabirds, but a whole host of other wildlife that depends on them. It makes Maine special to be able to get in a boat and come out here and see puffins and mirrors and razor bills and see them leading their young out to sea. Like, it's beautiful. All those birds represent the wildness of this coastline. We want to do everything we can do to support this wildlife refuge, to keep the research going, to keep those seabird colonies stable and growing. And we can't do that without a friends group. The Friends of Maine Coastal Islands is a friends group that supports the National Wildlife Refuge. Anything that we can do to make their work easier, better, more effective, that's what we do for them. I think so many people don't even know what a National Wildlife Refuge is or the focus of our management efforts. Maine Coastal Islands currently protects over 70 islands along the Maine coast, primarily for nesting seabirds and breeding bald eagles. Even though there's over 3,000 islands in Maine, over 95% of some of these species nest just on the islands of the refuge. The islands that we're managing really are safe havens for the species that we're focusing on, the common arctic terns, the razorbills, the puffins. For seabirds, we're seeing the effects of climate change on a daily basis. We know if we left those islands and no longer did predator control and had seasonal technicians on those islands to safeguard the seabirds, we would lose those colonies. For 25 years, we put our heads down and did research and management to try to protect these birds, but it's really not enough that we care about it. It's really important that we share it with others. So the Friends of Maine Coastal Islands Refuge is vital for us in so many ways. Here we have this beautiful visitor center, putting on programming for the public to come in and enjoy. They also manage our art gallery upstairs. We have the Friends store as well. Everything they sell here goes to help support our work. We also work not just directly with donors who can support the work of the wildlife staff, but we also work with landowners and talk to them about buying back their properties because we know we're losing habitat, so we have to actively be working to gain habitat as well. In declining federal budgets, there's certainly lots of priorities in the federal government, and sometimes seabird conservation isn't that high on that list. And so the friends, the money that they can contribute to the program is a huge benefit to us. The declines in funding have a direct result in staffing, and that's where the friends group are so critical. They can go to congressionals and say how important the work is that we're doing and you know, ask for funding to support it or raise funds on their own. The Friends Group really does support that important work. So dollars matter. We hope that the Friends Group will continue to do a really good and supportive job for the wildlife biologists. The better we do, the more they can be out on the islands. A lot of people get caught up in thinking that they have to do these massive lifestyle changes. But I think the biggest thing is that you start supporting really good conservation efforts like what we're doing here and just start playing a really active role in being an advocate on your own. Maine wouldn't be Maine without all of these seabirds, and if we want to continue to see them and cherish them, we need this program to continue.